Hello, it's me again, and I'm back with another one of your burning questions. And the one that I'm taking a look at now is coming via Instagram from none other than Sean Sullivan. And Sean wants to know how you keep a Duotech 28 HE in engineer mode for longer. So first of all, Sean, thanks for your question, mate. It's a really good question as well, because we get asked this one quite a bit in the training days that we do. So with a bit of luck, it's gonna help out a few people, because there is an easy way of keeping that boiler cool when you're trying to do a service on it. So let's say, for instance, it's the middle of winter, you go around to do a service on a Duotech or a Platinum, and chances are, by the time you get around there, the system's hot. So if you try and put it into chimney sweep mode, it ain't gonna stay in that mode for very long, because the boiler's too hot. Okay, so you won't be able to get any flue gas readings off it, because it's just dropped out. Uh, so, I mean, you're gonna have to use your imagination a little bit here because this is off for 600. Um, so I haven't got the Duotech or the Platinum one at home, unfortunately, but it is very similar. So first of all, mate, what you wanna do is locate the diverter motor and just unclip him and there he is. Just leave him swinging down there. Next, locate the Hall Effect sensor and unclip him as well and just leave him swinging down. What I suggest you do next is locate the bath and open up the hot tap there. Okay, and this is just to prevent any overspill because you don't really want to be running the hot tap for any length of time in let's say a, like a cloakroom sink or something like that. So open up the hot tap in the bath if you can, go back to your boiler and put it into chimney sweep mode. And that'll stay into engineer mode or chimney sweep mode for about 20 minutes before it actually knocks itself out. Okay, so that, that gives you plenty of time to get your flue gas readings there at maximum and minimum, even if you need to tweak the gas valve as well, mate. Okay, so Sean, I hope that's answered your question for you. A little tip for you, though. Make sure you put your Hall Effect sensor back on, mate, because otherwise the customer will phone you about 10 minutes later and say they've got no hot water. Also, make sure you put your diverter motor back on, because they'll be phoning you for that one as well, because they won't have any heat in them. Okay, so uh, again, Sean, thanks for your question, mate. Hope it's answered it all right for you. When you get a minute, if you can DM us your details, we'll do our best to get you some Baxi goodies out when we can. So guys, to those of you that are still working out there, I hope you're all safe and your families are doing well. Until next time, take care.